Hey, Taya. Um, Candace had a couple honors today, first team all WNBA and defensive player of the year. I want to get your perspective on what, not only what she's done statistically, but the other things that she brings to the team, whether it's leadership, whether it's whatever. Um, Candace is a phenomenal player and a phenomenal person. I think that um, with her experience and expertise and like on the court stuff, off the court stuff, like we get to learn a lot from her. So when she's on the court, she's very vocal. Um, she sets the tone, she sets the example, she talks to us. So, I mean, honestly, we're getting everything. There's nothing more that we can ask for Candace from Candace. Those awards were well deserved. Sabrina Merchant, SB Nation. Hey, Taya, I know I asked you this uh, last week before the playoffs had actually started, but now that you can look ahead, you know, to the single elimination rounds, uh, how do you feel about the WNBA postseason? You think it's like a, a cool setup or do you think you should get more than one game, you know, if you make the playoffs? How do you feel about it? Um, I didn't even think about that. I honestly just, you know, it is what it is. I kind of thought of it like it's single game elimination and you got the series, so I didn't even think of if it was different, but I mean, it's cool to me. I, this is my first time experiencing it. I think if I, after this, I could probably tell you how I felt about it, but I, I really don't know. I'm going through it as we speak. Uh, Logan Murdoch, The Ringer. I tell you, um, you were talking about Candace Parker earlier. Um, what's it like to be playing alongside her when I'm sure you grew up watching her and what is the biggest thing that she's taught you during this, this first season? She's taught me so much. I mean, at the point guard position, um, just the reads off screens, um, knowing everybody's position and what they're, what they're doing when I do have the ball. So um, being aware of the reads, like once I get past the screen or um, if they do a certain coverage. So um, I think that, and then just um, her being aware of what I'm capable of and believing in me, I think. Um, meant the most to me, but um, I feel like everything she's she's been there for defense, offense, off the court. Um, she's a great big sister. Last question for Tay. We'll go to Chris Camello. Uh, Tay, uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Um, the uh, all W rookie teams came out was there any disappointment that you weren't uh, on it and is that going to be a motivating factor for you moving forward um no I didn't even I, don't, I didn't even know who made the rookie team honestly we just had practice so I haven't seen them um so I haven't felt a way or felt anything about them because I haven't seen it but um no I mean we in the playoffs so that's all I'm worried about